Hi, I'm Alicia, and today we're going to go over the differences between Git and GitHub, and how to get started using them. Once you understand the functions of both Git and GitHub, you can put them to work in order to streamline your development process. You can even integrate the two to use them in conjunction. But before we get too far, I want to let you know that there will be links and more resources in the video's descriptions. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. All right, let's get started. First, let's take a look at Git. This is a version control software for developers. Version control refers to the process of saving different files or versions throughout the various stages of a project. This enables developers to keep track of what has been done and return to a previous phase if they decide they want to revert some of the changes they've made. This is useful for a variety of reasons. For example, it makes it easier to resolve errors and fix other mistakes that might occur during development. You can also note changes in each version to help any team member stay up to date on what's completed and what still needs to be accomplished. Unlike most other version control systems, or VCSs, Git stores each saved version as a snapshot instead of a list of changes made to each file. You can reference old snapshots whenever you need to, and new snapshots are created when your project is modified. Git also enables you to push and pull changes to and from installations on other computers. This makes Git a distributed version control system and enables multiple developers to work on the same project. However, there are a few drawbacks to handling development this way. As local software installed on your individual machine, Git cannot read the edits other developers may be making in real time. This means that if you and a teammate are working on a project simultaneously, you won't be able to view each other's work. So if you aren't completely sure when team members will be working on your project, Git is best for individual use. You can then avoid conflicts or having someone else accidentally override your code. GitHub makes it easier to collaborate using Git. It's a platform that can hold repositories of code in cloud-based storage so that multiple developers can work on a single project and see each other's edits in real time. Plus, it also includes project organization and management features. You can assign tasks to individuals or groups, set permissions and roles for collaborators, and use comment moderation to keep everyone on task. Additionally, GitHub repositories are publicly available. Developers from across the globe can interact with and contribute to each other's code in order to modify or improve it, which is known as social coding. In a way, this makes GitHub a networking site for web professionals. There are three primary actions you can take when it comes to interacting with other developers' code on GitHub. Fork, the process of copying another's code from the repository in order to modify it. Pull, when you've finished making changes to someone else's code, you can share them with the original owner via a pull request. Merge. Owners can add new changes to their projects via a merge and give credit to the contributors who suggested them. Especially for newer developers who are trying to build up their resumes, this can be a great opportunity to gain some experience. GitHub enables you to share projects on your profile and keeps a timeline of all the ones you've contributed to as well. To sum up the difference between Git and GitHub, Git is a local VCS software that enables developers to save snapshots of their projects over time. It's generally best for individual use. GitHub is a web-based platform that incorporates Git's version control features so they can be used collaboratively. It also includes project and team management features, as well as opportunities for networking and social coding. GitHub isn't the only Git repository you may want to consider if you're looking to collaborate on a development project. GitLab is another very similar platform that's also worth a look. Like GitHub, GitLab enables you to store code and use Git's version control capabilities. However, it also provides more nuanced user permissions and includes built-in continuous integration. 
This eliminates the need for the pull requests used in GitHub. With that said, GitLab is not as popular as GitHub. With 40 million users, GitHub provides far more opportunities for networking, social coding, and even learning from other more experienced professionals in your field. In short, both platforms are useful, but for slightly different situations. If you're not interested in working with developers outside of your team, GitLab may be helpful to speed up your workflow a bit. However, GitHub may be the better route for those looking to grow their careers. Since they are so closely related, it would make sense if Git and GitHub were owned by the same company. However, Git is open source software while GitHub is owned by Microsoft. Open source platforms, including Git and WordPress, are free to use, modify, and distribute. GitHub's pricing model is different, but it provides an interesting free plan. In fact, all of the core GitHub features are free for everyone. In order to use Git and GitHub together for version control and collaboration, there are a few steps you'll need to take. Let's take a look at how the process works. It's important to note that you do have to use Git in order to take advantage of GitHub, so you'll want to brush up on your skills with the former before trying to integrate the two. First, download the Git software for your operating system. You'll then need to run the installer. This process will vary depending on which operating system you're using. Once you run the installer, you can set up Git using your command line interface. There are a few terms you'll want to familiarize yourself with as you start using the software. Repository, the file location where your project is stored. Commit, the command used to save new changes to your project in the repository. Stage, before you can commit changes in Git, you'll need to stage them. This gives you the chance to prepare your code before formally adding it to your project. Branch the part of your project you're actively developing. To connect Git to GitHub, you'll need to add a repository and make at least one commit. You'll then have enough of your project established to start working in GitHub. Next, you'll need a GitHub account. You can sign up for one for free or invest in a paid plan. A free account works well for new developers looking to hone their skills. A pro plan is better suited to freelancers and advanced coders, while agencies will want to invest in a team plan in order to access more project management and communication tools. Additionally, GitHub offers discounts for nonprofits, educators, and students. After you've created and set up your account, you'll need to create a repository in GitHub where you can store your project when you move it over from Git. You can do so by clicking on the relevant link in the left-hand sidebar. Then, you'll need to choose a name for your repository. You can also decide if you want the repository to be public so other GitHub users can find and contribute to it, or if you want to keep it private. Either way, since you'll be using an existing project, make sure to leave the Initialize this repository with a README box unchecked. Next, you'll have the option to add code to your repository in a few different ways. Since you've already set up your Git repository, you can use the push an existing repository from the command line option. Take the code here and paste it into your preferred command line interface to create your GitHub repository. Once that's done, refresh your GitHub page. You should now be able to see your repository in GitHub. From there, you can start making changes to your project online. It's also possible to send and merge pull requests and use any other tools included with your plan. While you can see all the changes you and others have made to your project on GitHub, the platform doesn't have direct access to your computer's files. In order to keep your project up to date on your computer, you'll need to pull your edits via Git. To do so, simply enter git pull origin master into your command line interface. This should update your files so that everything is in sync across all iterations of your project. So there you have it. 
the difference between Git versus GitHub. It can be a little confusing at first as they're not the same thing, but are both invaluable for development purposes. Kinsta's WordPress hosting can speed up your website by up to 200%, and you'll get 24-7 support from our expert WordPress engineers. Let us show you the Kinsta difference. Try a free demo of our My Kinsta dashboard at demo.kinsta.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.